Beware of this new encode, new light, which is darkness in disguise. You can't lose your salvation. It's a lie. What are you talking about? Who gave who life? Hmm. How can you lose what you were not responsible for? You don't know where it came from. You don't know how it came. You only open up, it entered you. And you lose it. <laughs> it's a shame. It's a shame. You do not confront doctrinal issues with sentiments and emotions. When doctrine kibatana, let me not enter this thing. Don't, don't tempt me. Can a Christian lose their salvation? Wrong question. The question is, can God lose a Christian? It's not like I earned my salvation so I can honor my salvation. God saved me. I didn't save myself. If I didn't save myself, I can't unsave myself. It is when people do not understand the nature of the salvation that Jesus offers. You didn't hear what I said. The nature of the salvation that, because there are other salvations, but the salvation that Jesus offers, the nature of that salvation is eternal. It's not temporal. And it's not conditional. Jesus' salvation is not conditional, it's not temporal. Jesus' salvation is eternal. Wow. It is called eternal life. Wow. It is called what? Eternal life. Salvation is called what? Eternal life. It is also called Christ in you. Yeah. What is it called? Christ in you. That is salvation. Now, how can you lose Christ? Ah. Did you find hmm. him? How can you lose him? Hmm. How can you lose him? You didn't find him. You can't lose him. He found you. He's the only one that can lose you. Yes. And he has yes. said nobody can take you out of my hand. Tilato Bulata. Disiki Lebudana Kuratana Kebelite Keleba. Marako Tanaga, Egebara Nosika, Lebando, Lebando, Lebando. Whatever voice is making noise around your ears, I command you to shut up. You can't lose him. You didn't find him. He found you. He saved you. He keeps you. Hmm. And he has brought hmm. nobody. Hmm. In fact, he didn't say nobody. He said none. None can pluck you. None means devil, witches, wizards, demons, human beings, Satan, persecution, kabatole, kabatole, kabatole. Somebody shout, nobody can take me out. Jesus keeps me. Judas lost salvation. Judas repented too late. He already crossed the red mark. You are the man. No repentance. So when will you repent? It came too late. The parents will say to her, anybody can lose. Anything. Say, hold that fast with our hearts. You don't hold it fast, you lose it. Eternal error. Yes. That that requires eternal apology. Hmm. Let me tell you something. Judas was never saved. The Bible's very clear about that. Look at John 6, verse 64. This is Jesus. He just finished preaching. A lot of people were offended at his preaching. And in verse 64 it says, But there are some of you that believe not. Hmm. For Jesus knew from the hmm. beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. And go down to verse 70. It says, Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? Yes. He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. Now look, this is e early in Jesus' ministry. Yes. So it's not like at the very end of Jesus' ministry, somehow Judas was tempted or Judas went into sin and, and somehow he lost his salvation. Even from the beginning, the Bible says, Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, betray him. And he said, I've chosen you, but you're a devil. So he was a devil even from the time that he was chosen to be one of his disciples. Look at Judas. Like, what happened to that guy? Hmm. Well, it says here that he was the one who is the son of destruction. Earlier in John 6, 
Verse 70, Jesus had the disciples together and he made this statement, quote, one of you is a devil. And John yes. 13, 27 says that Satan entered him. Now he couldn't have had the Holy Spirit because the Bible says greater is he who is in the believer than he who is in the world. So the Holy Spirit is stronger than Satan. Yes. That means if the Holy Spirit is in you, Satan can't come and defeat the Holy Spirit and remove him and replace the Holy Spirit with a demonic spirit. Yes. Okay. So since Satan was in Judas Iscariot, it means that Judas was never a believer. So the yes. question is not did he lose his salvation, but the question is, did he fake his faith? So you can't lose your salvation, but you can fake it. Yes. Religious people do this all the time. They're like, well, they were part of the church, but were they part of Christ? Hmm. But they heard the message. Did they believe the message? Yes. Um, but they were in our group. Were they in his group? My question to you is, do you have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ? Hmm. Okay. Do you know Jesus? Do you love Jesus? Do you follow Jesus? Have you received Jesus? Have you trusted Jesus? Because you can be this close to Jesus and have no love for Jesus. Hmm. You can be this close to Jesus and have no relationship with Jesus. Hmm. That's Judas Iscariot. And Judas has no one to blame but himself. They hold that fast with our heart. You don't hold it fast. You lose it. Walk out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You don't walk it out, it will walk you out. He said, walk out your salvation. He didn't say walk for your salvation. He said walk out. For you to walk it out means it's already in. Now the next verse now says, For it is God that walketh. For it is God that does the work. So it is even not you that is walking it out. It is God in you that is working out, which is what we call spiritual growth or we call spiritual maturity. As you keep growing in the knowledge of Christ, the fruit of that salvation will find expression. That's what that scripture. The message of grace yeah. is so very critical. Uh, but I wanted to hear from you and to let our viewers hear from you because it is believed that one say forever say no so you can live any life you want to know but with what you just said and your dream and the revelation and with what paul said and What's the, the fact that the bible says that everyone that has this hope in him purifies himself Absolutely. even as he is pure how do you relate that to the message of grace well, how and can just live in anyhow <laughs> anyway and making think, them go into hell? yeah think about paul the apostle if I do not put my body under subjection, I would be a castaway. That kills the whole message right there of that free grace, they call it. Huh? <laughs> it's not in the Bible. He that endures to the end, unto the end the same shall, shall be saved. So our salvation is a continual walk with God closely. Paul is not speaking of salvation. Salvation is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. But rather, Paul is speaking of earning, working for, striving for, fighting for, running for a prize, a reward, yeah. an incorruptible crown. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Paul says in verse 27 that he keeps under his body. He puts his flesh into subjection so that he may strive lawfully so that he may receive a full reward and not be cast away concerning the crown. Yeah. Cast away concerning the prize, concerning a full reward. Look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. Have you heard this new doctrine that is infiltrating everywhere? You know. Many people have preached it in recent times, how that a believer cannot lose his salvation. Have you heard that? <laughs> and there are some people in Nigeria pushing it and all of that because the church is illiterate. Because the, the issue that pertains to the possibilities of a believer, I only enshrined in scripture. When a preacher says you can lose salvation, so what is the attraction? Why do I want a salvation that is not guaranteed? And if I can lose salvation, then why do I want other people to get what can be lost? There is no attraction. Yes. The attraction in salvation is the fact that when you are saved, the sotar, the Hebrew, I mean the Greek word for savior, 
the sota who provided salvation is the keeper of salvation that is the attraction 80 times in the new testament the apostles and jesus himself reveals that you can lose your salvation and the what? first what? among the I, 80 I times know. is in the book of john chapter 15. it happens to be that it is the brand the stem that is eternal huh? the branch is not if it is true why is it that when a man gets born again the bible tells us that there is joy in heaven over one sinner that repents why should heaven rejoice over a sinner that repents since he can lose the salvation heaven should wait since salvation can be lost until we arrive before heaven rejoices because yes. if it can be lost why are we rejoicing we should wait until arrival and that is why that theory has a fundamental problem because the bible tells us that the moment a sinner rejo repents there is joy in heaven meaning it's been done it's a settled matter that is the assurance of salvation you cannot lose your salvation yes to lose your salvation means that what jesus did for you has to be undone for you to be unsaved means the things that jesus did to make you save have to be undone the death of jesus christ has to be undone because yes. that is what he did in the same way the bible said in the book of hebrews chapter 9 when jesus entered the tabernacle he did not go with blood of goats and bulls yes. but with his own blood he entered into the holies of holies to secure an eternal redemption to secure what an eternal redemption john uh, 6 37 uh, jesus says all that the father gives me will come to me and i'll and and whoever comes to me i'll never cast out so all the father gives me okay that's not that's not you choosing him that's the father giving you to jesus you will come to him and jesus will never cast you out yes so it is god's work to save and it is god's work to preserve you all of us must take heed to the word of god Continue. and to our salvation and realize that you can be a believer uh -huh. and lose your salvation and go to hell. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you so that my hands will be free and innocent of your blood. Now, give me John 10, 28 and 29 amplified. I give them eternal life. And they shall never lose it. They shall never lose it. Or perish throughout the ages to all eternity they shall never by any means be destroyed and no one is able to snatch them out of my hand next verse Kebada. my father who has given them to me is greater and mightier than all else and no one is able to snatch them out of the father's hand Anybody who reads these scriptures and still talk about losing salvation is blind. Yes. <laughs> Two things. is Either he's really not born again because the world cannot receive this. Yes. Neither can they know it. So it's either the person is really not born again. Number one. Or number two. He is blind. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor heights, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus Anybody our Lord. Anybody that reads this place and still argues with the eternal nature of salvation is blind. Anybody that reads this verse among so many others, and is still not sure of the eternal nature of salvation that person is blind hmm? the holy ghost spoke hmm? to me in the aircraft he said to me when you came to the airport by your choice you went to the counter by your choice you obtained your boarding pass by your will you gave them your box to check in and they gave you the tag claim tag by your will you walk through the terminal right to the boarding gate went through immigration went through the security by your will and choice 
you walk to the aircraft by your will and choice consciously you enter the plane by your will and choice you check your seat in the aircraft you sat on the seat you sat there willingly you were sitting in the aircraft they made announcements by your will you could have still gone out but you didn't you sat there they locked the doors by your will you strap yourself but from the moment they locked the doors and the pilot started taxiing you cannot stand up and say i don't want to go hmm. no way hmm? you must go with hmm? that plane whether crying or laughing if you like collapse inside there's first aid they will resuscitate you throughout that flight and if you die they will package you for burial but as far as that flight is concerned it must go to destination ladies and gentlemen the day you receive christ by your will you invited christ by your will you asked jesus to come in but the moment jesus entered it is too late for you to go out so intelligence in the aircraft even if you stand up and you say i'm angry my seat is 1a let me walk towards the back even if you walk to the back of the plane you are still inside that plane going to the back of the plane does not stop the plane from joining anyhow you move within that plane you are still inside that plane so intelligent if you like fall down in the plane you are still in the plane that's why even as a believer even when you make mistakes your salvation is intact. Thank you, Jesus. That's why Brother Paul could confidently say, even things to come, things present, height, depth, length, creatures that have not been created. He said life. He said even death. Hmm. You are eternally saved. Hmm. Hmm. It's not temporal salvation. It's eternal salvation. It's not conditional mm. salvation. It is eternal. Jesus said, I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish. Neither yeah. shall any man be able to pluck them out of my yeah. heart. My father that gave them to me is greater than all. And nobody can pluck them out of my He is able to save to the somebody shout holy ghost